In today's tutorial, we will model and texture a simple hammer. Let's begin. Move the default cube up along the axis with G plus Z. Add mesh, cylinder. Change dimensions of X and Y to 0.03 and Z to 0.3 meters. Scroll the mouse wheel up to come closer to the object. Press Ctrl plus A, apply scale. Switch to the right orthographic view with 3 on numpad or click on the X on the gizmo as shown. Turn on X-ray mode with Alt plus Z. Switch to edit mode with Tab. Select vertices as shown and scale them with S. Switch to object mode with Tab. Scale it along X axis with S plus X. Press Ctrl plus A, apply scale. Right mouse press and click shade auto smooth. Turn off X-ray mode with Alt plus Z. Add a bevel modifier and adjust the amount and segments. The amount for my model is 0.006 meters and the segments are 3, but you can put what you think looks the best. Switch to the right orthographic view with 3 on numpad or click on the X on the gizmo as shown. Scale the default cube with S. Move it down with G plus Z. Scale it with S. Scale it along Y axis with S plus Y. Press Ctrl plus A and apply scale. Switch to the right orthographic view with 3 on the numpad or click on the X on the gizmo as shown. Switch to edit mode with tab. Turn on X-ray mode with Alt plus Z. Select vertices as shown and move them a bit with G plus Y. Extrude it with E plus Y along Y axis. And scale along Z axis with S plus Z. Switch to object mode with tab. Move it along the Y axis if necessary with G plus Y. Click on the upper part of the hammer then on the hammer handle and press Ctrl plus J to join them. And make them into one object. Turn off X-ray mode with Alt plus Z. Right mouse press and click Shade Auto Smooth. Rename cylinder to hammer. Congratulations, you just successfully modeled the hammer. Great job! Click on the camera icon. Go to the view and turn on camera to view. Select a hammer. Click dot on your numpad or click on view frame selected if you are on the laptop. Move the camera while holding the mouse wheel until you are satisfied. Turn off camera to view so you lock your camera angle and you can move again freely without moving the camera position that you just adjusted. Switch to the rendered mode. Change the render engine to cycles and the device to GPU if your graphic card is better than the processor. Also turn on the noise in the viewport. Click on the light. Switch to the top orthographic view with 7 on numpad or click on the Z on the gizmo as shown. Duplicate the light with Shift plus D. Move with G as shown. Duplicate the second light with Shift plus D and move again with G. Click on the camera icon to see the lighting. If you like it as it is, you can start texturing. Take the cursor near the editing boundary and right-click when you see the double-sided arrow. Select vertical split and left-click somewhere on the left to create a new editor. In the new editor part, open the shader editor. Choose the hammer and go to the material properties. Click new and rename the material to hammer metal. Click plus and then new to add one more material. Rename this one to the hammer handle. Choose the hammer metal material. Click N to hide that sidebar on the right. Add geometry. Connect pointiness from geometry to factor from color ramp. Connect color from the color ramp to base color from principal BSDF. Now slide the first color in the color ramp to the right and the second color to the left. Change metallic to 1.
Click on the first color in color ramp and choose a gray color. Choose the hammer handle material. Switch to edit mode with tab. Choose the part of the hammer as shown with L for linked. Click assign. Switch to object mode with tab. Add a gradient texture. Connect color from the gradient texture to factor from color ramp. Connect color from the color ramp to base color from principal BSDF. Now slide the first color in the color ramp to the left as shown. Connect vector from the gradient texture to vector from mapping. Connect vector from the mapping to generate it from texture coordinate. Change the rotation of Y in the mapping to 90 degrees. Choose the second color on the color ramp and change it to the light orange. Choose the first color on the color ramp and change it to the brown. Change the location of the X in mapping as you like to have a more visible transition from the dark to the light part of the hammer. Click on the camera icon and if you like what you see, it's time for rendering. If you are satisfied with your hammer, click render and render an image. Before that, change samples in render to 256 because there is no need for 4096 samples in this case. Congratulations, you just learned how to model and texture a hammer. Great job! If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. If you enjoyed modeling with me, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you followed this tutorial and made a hammer, feel free to send to my social media your render and I will share it. Thank you for watching and learning with me. See you next time. Until then, wish to all happy blending time.